Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This will be a review on the 1-6 scale Hot Toys Killmonger from Black Panther. Great 1-6 scale figure. And I have reviewed it with Black Panther. It was a double figure review, so I put a lot of effort into that one, but nobody's watched it. It's been up for four months plus, and it hasn't even got to a thousand views. I don't know, maybe I chose a bad thumbnail or I was too late to the game with this one. I'm not sure. But not enough people have seen this figure really on the channel, so I figured I'm going to give him his own review, plus another big reason for this is because I'm about to trade him in at the figure pit. I'm keeping Black Panther, but I'm going to trade in Killmonger here, and um, you'll see what I traded him for later on the channel. But I just, before I get rid of him, I want to give him his own review, just get to see how awesome this figure is. So beautiful packaging on this piece, absolutely love the box art on this. And it's got one hell of a head sculpt of Michael B. Jordan. That's Eric Killmonger, an amazing suit, a really cool Killmonger head sculpt. And these are the extra hands that you get. And it comes with two weapons, one down there and one in his hand. And the groin grabber, which I don't really need to use with him because his balance is so good. So I've always rocked him without that and he just stands on his own just fine. But it won't be the longest review, folks. I've already, you know, like I said, I've reviewed him with Black Panther in one video. There were a lot of poses in that double review so if you want to see it posed then I, I mean i will pose it in this video but not as much as i did originally in that double review so you can always go back and watch that one if you want to see him in more you know different looks but let's get stuck in and don't forget to check us out at our store at www.thefigurepit.com so it turns out the gold lines on the suit should not be this prominent. They shouldn't be this bright. Someone in the community actually repainted over all those gold lines and made it more movie accurate. Once I saw that, you know, I lost a little bit of love for the piece because I really did think he was a perfect figure when I first saw him. And yeah, it's still, it's a small thing really. It's still an incredible looking piece. There's no denying it's got one of the best head sculpts I've ever seen. It's absolutely incredible. But yes, the gold lines should be darker than that, and I think they should be thinner as well. And I know they're already pretty thin, so I'm not sure how that would be possible on this figure, but... Yeah, someone in the community did repaint those lines, and certainly improved the piece and made it more movie accurate. I'm not sure if I actually had the rotating base when I did the original review on this guy and Black Panther together. So this will be a nice little update. And get a look at this guy coming around. Check out all the details on the suit. Of which there are many. Check out that awesome kind of leopard print. Or is it Jaguar? I think his other name is the Golden Jaguar. I think uh, when I looked it up. It's the other name he goes by other than Killmonger. And you can see that Jaguar print on there. Which is really, really cool. It's nice and subtle. The proportions are fantastic. Transition between the head sculpt and the neck is nice and smooth. Really good proportions on the traps and the arms, back muscles, the chest. It's all looking really, really good. And there's even like some text or something. There's so much to look at on the suit. Love the claws. Excellent work. Yeah, I just wanted to get him holding on to both of the weapons here, kind of crossed over his chest. Get a little shot of that as it comes around. Pretty sweet. He's got really good posability in the arms. You are able to get the arms pretty flush by his sides. I'll show you that in a moment. Looks really cool. It's a very real looking figure. Very realistic. Love the way the hair is sculpted at the back too. There is the custom, what's it called, Max Nut custom head sculpts that you can get. They look really good too. I think Hot Toys did a fantastic job with Michael B. Jordan's like this here. Very much debatable with the, you know, the Black Panther one. But I still really like them both. This one is clearly the best of the two though, as far as the, the actual sculpt goes. 
All right, so let me just show you the arms nice and flush to his sides. So that's one of the things I was really impressed with was considering the bulk of his upper body, you really can get the arms nice and flush to his sides. Probably even more than this. I didn't spend too much time doing it, but you can see he's able to do it. It looks really natural. It's just a great looking piece. Yeah, like I said, the articulation is fantastic. This arm extended out. Well, it's all about kind of working with the suit as you're moving the arms around. Look how reed he looks. It's beautiful. Incredible. Getting close. Yeah, that looks really good. It's a pretty cool pose. Basically saying, you don't want to come one step closer. Zal will send you to the maker. <laughs> That's right. Golden Jaguar. And tear that ass up. Alright, so we'll just take a look at the head sculpt on its own on the rotating base. I appreciate the incredible detail and accuracy on this one. I reviewed it and then I saw a few folks saying in the comments underneath the review, the few people who did watch it, <laughs> said that there was a bit of controversy when this came out. People weren't happy with this uh, head sculpt. I Maybe it was down to the expression. Maybe they wanted more of that kind of teeth showing aggressive look. But I think this expression they went with here, it's quite straightforward, but it does kind of bring across the um, some of the feelings that the character was you know, going through in the movie. I felt they captured that quite well, despite the kind of simplistic nature of the expression, just looking forward. But you can see the intensity, you can see the anger and frustration, but also the kind of cockiness that he had. So those, uh, I think it's called Max Nut, but the custom head sculpts, the one where they made the actual expression with the, the teeth showing, the aggressive kind of furrowed brow, that did look amazing. I wouldn't have minded uh, getting my hands on one of those for this figure, but... You know, it wasn't meant to be. This figure will go on now to the figure pit and someone else is going to get to own him. I enjoyed my time with him and highly, highly recommend it to anyone out there who's curious. Yes, I think you should get this if you're a fan of the Black Panther movie, which I am. But, you know, something came in at the figure pit and I've wanted it back. I used to have it in the collection and now's my chance to get it back again. And in order to do that, I'm going to part exchange uh, Mr... Killmonger here with the figure that I want at the figure pit which is something you guys can do too guys so bear that in mind if you if you want something that we have on the website you can always part exchange with us so yeah man an amazing sculpt here I think the footage speaks for itself absolutely incredible work now let's take a look at the actual Killmonger helmet which is a beastly thing it looks terrifying you got the fangs on the front a very aggressive looking helmet mask whatever you want to call it but you can see the kind of jaguar print on the top and all around it really a nice subtle kind of gold wash in the crevices let me just try and change the position of this light a little bit a little bit too intense there we go but i really like this it was always difficult to choose between and it's not like you could really have him holding onto this helmet while he had the Michael B. Jordan sculpt on, because if I remember correctly, it kind of just appeared, like that kind of nanotech, uh, if I'm saying the right thing there. But I guess it wouldn't be film accurate to have him holding onto this in his hands. I guess maybe you could. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I'm sure there's some, some pretty good Black Panther aficionados out there who know their, you know, they know their stuff. But the the actual Michael B. Jordan sculpt was so good I couldn't bring myself to not use it you know I had to rock him with that sculpt on as much as I love this full on you know Killmonger look Golden Jaguar beautiful both head sculpts absolutely fantastic 10 out of 10s as far as I'm concerned really nice aggressive I've always loved Panthers I said that in the original review but it's true man I'll never forget when I was a little kid I went to Chessington World of Adventures, which was kind of like a theme park mixed with a zoo. And they actually had a Black Panther. 
and I was, uh, I was just mesmerized by that creature. I just, I, I hate seeing them in cages and in captivity. It sucks. Even back then, when I was like eight years old, I felt that. I looked at it, and it was just kind of, kind of like low crawling, just kind of like low down, just kind of skulking about its big cage and climbing on top of the tree branches and just looking at me. And ah, oh man, beautiful, a humbling moment. I, uh, yeah. Respect the big cats. Respect all cats and dogs. I love cats and dogs. <laughs> and hamsters, apart from when they bite me. But I did get to go on the really wild show because of that hamster bite. Long story. I won't bore you with it. Well, I'll get you some footage of Black Panther and Killmonger together on the rotating base back to back here. It seems like a sensible thing to do. You can just see them together. I've got the actual uh, Chadwick Boseman eyes inside the panther sculpt right now, so bear that in mind. I just love the way that looks. I love it with the human eyes showing. I can't really see them because I haven't got the light shining in his face. You can just about make them out. There they are. Very panther-like looking design to him. I actually ended up preferring that to the Civil War look, which I didn't think I was ever going to do. I, I just I used to own the Hot Toys Civil War Black Panther and it wasn't you know, the suit material wasn't very forgiving when it came to poses. You got kind of permanent wrinkles showing up. I had that just from him stepping forward slightly with his leg. Ended up with a permanent crease. But the updated suit material here for the solo movie version definitely improved on that. But pretty cool seeing these guys together one last time. They do make a hell of a pair. You just soak it up a couple more turns. The Golden Jaguar and the Black Panther. Yeah. It's pretty damn cool. Totally different bodies used for each character, which is something I like to see. Attention to detail there. Killmonger being the beefier of the two. Black Panther, more slender, but still got some beef action going on, as you can clearly see. All right. That's about enough of that. All right, so I'll just end up on a little clawing at you kind of pose. Now, don't forget, folks, I haven't gone too in-depth here because, like I said, I have reviewed this figure in the past on the channel. I did it as a double review, Killmonger and Black Panther in the same video. There was a lot more poses than this. So if you want to see this guy in more poses, I would go back and check out that review that I did back when I got these guys. I just wanted to give him a solo, independent, well, you know, just a, a review just on Killmonger here because I felt he deserved one before he goes off to the figure pit and someone else gets to own him. But I, you know, despite the issue with the golden kind of lines being too bright on the suit, uh, you know, bearing that in mind, I give him, it's difficult because it's such a satisfying piece. It really is a great figure. I give him a nine, nine out of 10. You know, having learned what I learned about those uh, inaccuracies on the suit, I give him a nine out of 10. If it wasn't for that, it'd clearly be a 10 out of 10 because he's absolutely awesome. I still highly recommend him. Great piece, really loved having him here in the collection. All right, folks, so he'll be available at our website at www.thefigurepit.com. So if you want yourself a Killmonger, then you can grab him from there soon. And that's it from me, folks. Take it easy. See you soon. Bye-bye.